Amanda. I teach free school Sunday school at St. Mark Lutheran Church in NT. Every weekday we gather together, we sing a song, we read a story, and we say a prayer. If you have any specific prayer requests, please leave them on our website at stmarknt.org. We would love to pray for you. We're actually gathering with our friend Baba, and he is a little bit sleepy, so he does need our help waking him up. If you could please help me on three. One, two, three. Good morning, Baba! Good morning. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good at it, but it's like so much fun to do. Oh, Baba, well, good morning. You look so happy today. I love it. Yeah, I just love the song we sang yesterday. I'm so glad. It's so great to sing songs to Jesus. I'm so glad that you love to do that. Yeah, I love to sing. I love to read the st our stories. And I love spending time with my family and my bros. It's just so much fun to do. Well, I'm so glad. It sounds like you would have loved to be part of the first church. Wow, the first church? That must be, like, super old. Yeah, well, the church isn't just a building, though. It, the church is all of Jesus' believers, like you and me. No matter where we're gathered, we are the church. Yeah, that's so cool. I never thought of it like that. So, like, would the church be in Africa, like where my elephant is from? Exactly, Baba. It's so nice to know that the church is all over the world, wherever God's people are. Would you like to read a story about the first church? Yeah, I'd love to read a story about the first church. Great! So the first church story can be found in the book of Acts chapter 2 verses 42 to 47. The new believers studied with the disciples. They learned many things about God and God's plans. They prayed together. They sang songs and praises to God. They ate meals and celebrated the Lord's Supper together. They shared everything they had with each other. God added more and more believers to the church every day. So in our story, we learn about the first church and how they gathered together and did a lot of the same things that we do when we go to church. They sang songs, they prayed to God, they worshipped Him, they talked to Him in prayer, and then they gathered together around food and had a meal as, and also the, the, like the Lord's Supper, the communion. Isn't that pretty cool? That's so cool. I love when we have potlucks. It's so great. Like, there's so much different food, and everything's in a jello mold, and it just tastes so good. I mean, you could put noodles in a jello mold, and marshmallows, and they're all different colors. Oh, and we get to hang out with all of our friends and family. That's right. Yeah, we can gather together. Uh, Lutherans tend to like our jello at our potlucks, right? Um, that might not happen everywhere in the world, but we also gather together with our God's people and we're able to have that meal together and sing songs and Wait, say prayers. Miss Amanda? Yeah, fine. Do you think that, like, during the time of Jesus, they had jello molds? I don't think so. Aw, oh, man. Yeah. They don't know what they're missing. I think they ate a lot of unleavened bread. Yuck. Gross. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry. That's it's fine now. Okay. You know, questions are good. Yeah. Okay. So, God's people, we can gather together, though. So it doesn't actually have to be in a building. It can be wherever two or more are gathered, God says that he is with them. So, what's another way that maybe we are having church now, because it's a little bit different of a time? Well, I know that, like, on Sundays, at, like, 10 30 we go on the computer and we watch pastor and he talks about jesus that's right bubba saint mark does their services online on facebook at 10 30 on sunday mornings and 
pastor has a sermon and we say some hymns and we say a creed and we have a prayer. So we have worship right online at, at 1030. And our friends are more than welcome to join us at that. Um, we also can gather together in our homes with our mommies and daddies and our, our brothers and sisters if we have them. Um, like our grandma and grandpas? Yes, like our grandma and grandpas too. Okay. Around God's word and we can sing with them. Um, and maybe have prayer with them as a family. That'd be nice, right? Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. And then we also gather together in these videos, too. Um, when our friends are watching them, we have God's word, and we say a prayer, and we sing a song. So Jesus joins us wherever we're, we are. With two or more are gathered, he says he's there with us. So it's pretty cool that even in these times, God is still with us, and we can still be the church. Now, what is another thing that they said in here? It says that they ate meals and celebrated the Lord's Supper together. They shared everything that they had with each other. So, I know you have a brother at home, Bubba. How do you do with sharing your stuff with him? Well, it depends on the day. Sometimes, like, when I'm playing with my Legos, those are my Legos. And he can't have any. But then sometimes I'll let him use my Legos. But, you know, I'm not very good at it. So sometimes you let him use your Legos, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's called sharing, right? Yep. That's what Mom says. I have to work on my sharing sometimes. But I love to share in general. Well, that's good. And I know sometimes it can be hard to share our favorite things with people, but those are the things that we get to share with them, and when they see us being like that and sharing with them, then they know that it's something someone else is helping us do that, because we can't do it on our own, right? Yeah, but one thing I don't like to share is my toothbrush. Blah! <laughs> yeah, some things we can keep for ourselves, like that toothbrush. Yeah. Good. Good to hear. Because I feel bad sometimes, but I don't want to get my, you know, toothbrush. That's my, that's my Superman toothbrush. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. You, you can keep that. Okay. But maybe we can share our Legos more often. Yeah, I'll work on sharing my Legos. That sounds great. Thank you, Bubba. We can pray to God and ask him for strength to help us share. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for the opportunity to gather together around your word and pray to you. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for our friends watching at home. Thank you so much for your peace and your love and your joy. Lord, please help us to share your love, your peace, your joy with those that we're in contact with. And Lord, please help us to share the blessings that you've given to us with others as well. Lord, whether it be uh, financially or um, with our resources that we have, Lord, everything comes from you, and we just ask that you help us to share those with people that might need it at this time. Lord, thank you so much for the emergency workers and for our healthcare professionals. Thank you for keeping them safe. Lord, please keep them safe and healthy so that they can return to their families. Thank you so much um, for them and for all the work that they're doing, Lord. Thank you so much that you are in control of everything and that you love us more than anything in the whole world. It's in your holy and precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, thanks so much for joining me today, Bubba. No problem. Thanks for having me. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.